Hello and welcome back to Crooning an Oak with Treacht. So this week I thought we could make our own little notebooks and I've been looking at the work of an artist called Adel Adnan. She's a female artist who makes lots of little books and lots of paintings and all of her little books open up like zigzags. So I thought let's make one of those. So let's get going. Okay so like the last two videos we're going to start off with a sheet of plain white copy paper. We're going to fold it in half just like that. Now we're going to fold it in half the other way, corner to corner, and then fold it back. And the same on the other side. And we'll make a few of those. The more you make, the longer your book is going to be. Now, so when we've made them, taking a scissors, we're just going to cut a very small bit off the top, just like this, on all of them. And now they come apart and we've two. So we do that for all of them, take them all apart. stick them together. A little bit of print stick or whatever glue you have. Fold it in. And we'll do that with all of our loose pieces. Now, there we have it, a little book. But books need a cover, so let's make one. And with this one, I'm just using an old cereal box. I'm gonna line it up and I'm gonna make a cover slightly bigger than the book itself. And with a pencil or a pen, just roughly mark it out. A little bit bigger, like that. And then with our scissors again, we're gonna cut it out. We need to cut out two, one for the front and one for the back. Now, there we have our two covers. We can sandwich in the book in the middle. But let's decorate the covers. Now, I have this really nice paper, with a square paper with lots of different patterns on it. You can decorate whatever way you want and colour it in, but I think I'm going to use one of these. Mm, maybe that one? No, this one. So take the two sheets, and we're going to stick them on. Again using print stick, and wrap them around. There's two different ways you can do this. One I did one way, the other I did the other. Put little corners just to make it easier to fold around. But this way. Oh, 
we'll just cut off a bit so they are extra. So there we have it. Let's put on some nice ribbon. Nice colorful rainbow ribbon. One side, and we can use this to tie our book closed. Stick it on. Now, putting some print stick on the pages we made. Stick it on. And the same on the other side. Ta da! And a little ribbon. And tie it up closed. But maybe we should put something on the front. I've got this coloured card, and I think I'm going to pick an iron sheet. Cut out a little egg shape. But it can be any shape you want. Now with some print stick, we can stick it down into the middle. Like that. And now we can write in the front what it's going to be. So, I think it's going to be things I see. No, things I've seen. Things I've seen at home. All the things I've seen while we've all been in our homes. go. There's our little book. So now we can fill it with whatever we want. I'm going to do a list of things that I've seen. Today, today, I saw three bees. That's five butterflies. Hmm. Six cats. Meow. And nine worms. Ew. So now I can draw what I see or what I've seen in their book. So there we have it. Our own little book. Things I've seen at home. When it's done, or when we're not using it, we can tie it up with a lovely little ribbon! Ta-da! So there we go. I hope you had lots of fun making yours and have even more fun filling it up. Talk to you soon, and thanks for watching. Bye!